I'm Rabbi Lisa Gelber, Associate Dean of the Rabbinical School at the Jewish Theological Seminary. In 16 years as a rabbi, I've dedicated my time, focus, and energy to the challenge of domestic violence in the Jewish community, creating liturgy, raising awareness, offering guidance and counsel to victims and those who serve and will serve as spiritual leaders. Through my leadership on the board of Faith Trust Institute, I work collaboratively across faith lines to foster responsible and responsive communities of justice and equity. Last month, Ruth Messenger, president of American Jewish World Service, organized a phone conference with Ann Curry, co-anchor of NBC's Today Show. In speaking about the famine in East Africa, Ms. Curry asked those of us assembled by phone, who are we? What is the depth of our compassion? Those words, to the call to open our hearts to the suffering of others, reverberates in my mind as I think about the 16 days of activism against gender-based violence campaign. I'm drawn to the idea that we move from peace in the home to peace in the world. What does it mean to have peace? Peace means safety, security, economic means, holiness, dignity, and wholeness. While a famine of biblical proportions might seem extreme, poverty is part of the everyday lives of so many in our world. Lack of food, clothes, and shelter deepens the vulnerability of women and their children by demarcating them as other, those who do not have, pushing them to the margins, lessening their ability to fulfill what they perceive as their role in the family structure. Without means, their dignity is diminished. They become more susceptible to the whims and demands of those who elevate themselves in power. Instead of partners in relationship with others and our world, women become objects to be utilized for personal need. Somewhere along the lines, it seems, women are no longer created in the image of the divine. It is no accident that this campaign concludes on International Human Rights Day. The right to food, shelter, clothing, these are all basic human rights. Yet these rights remain unmet in so much of our world. And so I ask you, what is the depth of our compassion? How far can we stretch and extend ourselves to touch the lives of individuals who are truly suffering and alter the trajectory of a world that seems willing to live with injustice as part of our societal fabric. What is the depth of our compassion? When our children take a thick crayon and draw a heart, how big, how red can it be? Jewish tradition offers, kol arevim zevazeh, everyone is responsible for one another. We start with ourselves, naming the values and commitments that make us feel safe and secure. And then we must extend beyond ourselves, outside of our comfortable homes with light, heat, and food, and maybe even a vase of flowers on the table. Who are the people in our neighborhood in whose homes there exists deep suffering, violence, injustice, and inequity? And what if several zip codes over the next county or the next state? Our world, our communities, our friendship circles are filled with bright, creative, compassionate souls. How can we know the depth of our compassion? Spearhead some community organizing, hold house meetings, share stories of like-minded, like-valued individuals committed to creating equanimity for all. Hold up positive role models who value advocacy, those who treasure clear voice over clenched fists. Please join us in overcoming gender-based violence. Thank you.